uh, producing cleaner and more favorable energy. Uh, across the world, we are seeing a massive new clean energy products and uptake. We are at the dawn of a new era, the dawn of Aquarius. Uh, the dawn of a new era that will redefine the, the global economy and, and the, that America must lead. Again, this obsession with America first. I don't understand it. Um, so what if someone else is number one? You can't be number one all the time. Uh, could you know, President Biden's investments in America agenda makes the the largest like clean energy investment in history. It has it has like uh, already attracted over four hundred billion in private sector commitment to like a um, development and manufacture solar, wind, battery, and other clean technologies here at home. Uh, today, five hundred eighty five new clean energy manufacturing projects are on the way, not just on the coast, but in like forty seven states, including in places too often left behind. Some eighty one percent of the investments made since our landmark new climate law passed are going to countries counties where like low average weekly wages. Um, America is making leaps forward in energy generation and storage while monetizing our like energy modernizing our I, I, I mix up modernizing and monetizing all the time. While modernizing our electric grid with an upgrading transmission lines to deliver reliable clean power, private sector companies have like announced the investment in solar modules that will power 18 million homes. And the Biden and the Harris administration has like approved the first nine million offshore nine commercial not nine million nine commercial offshore wind projects in federal waters. It is set to power nearly five million homes. Large-scale energy storage capacity has increased 12-fold since President and took office, and is expected to double again by year's end. This clean energy boom has already created over 300,000 jobs and lower energy costs for like millions of families. It put us on the track to like a triple energy, clean energy generations by 2030, and reducing big oil holds on like our economy, protecting families from like wide, wild price swings, and like bringing Americans closer to like energy independence than we've ever been in over 70 years. It's like it, the fossil fuel industry was going to still be the fossil fuel industry, so they're still they're going to be around as well too. It's that sounds great and all, and like uh, if it does happen and it makes like electricity cheaper for all people and free for people, I would like that to happen. Then great. Um, you still have not, but like the administration is still not in favor of uh, banning fracking. Well, ban fracking. I just like yeah. Could you? They probably won't mention that that at all. So, like, they can, like, talk about a lot about this, but when, like, asked the question, are you going to ban fracking, they'll say no. I wonder if they're actually going to put it in the party platform. Anyway, continue on. Going forward, Democrats will keep working to incentivize investments in transmission upgrades and new lines and, like, in grid components manufacturing that is, that's needed to support that growth. And we will improve and speed up the process of environmental renew, review and clean energy permitting and view further scale up development of clean energy on public lands. We also continue to invest in clean energy research and development, building on America's legacy as a nation of new frontiers and possibilities. Hold on, let's pause a minute on like building on America's legacy of new frontiers as well too. The phrasing of new frontiers uh, and the pioneering. Just remember that like there were indigenous people on this land, on Turtle Island. Plenty of indigenous people on this land, Eternal Island. And that the concept of America being a new frontier is assuming that those like indigenous people are not there. Or which they were there, but like the white settlers kind of pretended not there by genociding them. It's a new frontier. There were people over here. Plenty of people over here. And we genocided a lot of them and stole their lands. So it's just like, I don't know. It's just like, it, this is... It's so it's about something else entirely. I'm just like, it's just kind of like it bothers me a little. Anyway, going to continue to help. The, I mean, the concept of like a pioneering or being pioneer or something like that is a Cedric Clone list, and that's why I just like it. Anyway, continue on to help find new ways of generating and storing energy, reducing emissions, and boosting um, and boosting. Uh, climate resilience we will launch a advanced research project and agency for climate a arpac modeled on the defense agency research defense research agency that's like behind breakthrough technology like the internet and gps as and the new arpa slash h that the administration has created in to transform medicine 
Right, we also establish a new national lab for for commute for climate research and innovation, affiliated with a HBCU, Hispanic or other minority serving institutions. What about the tribal colleges? Um, continue on to ensure the opportunities of the future are available to everyone and built by everyone. And we will continue to invest in climate research across NASA and National. Ocean Association of America, I guess that's a uh, N O A A stands for, and the National Science Foundations and other agencies to make sure America leads uh, the world in clean energy. Again, why does it like have to be America first? Um, I'm all for like increasing funding to NASA so we can like go to Mars and stuff like that.